Yeah! <clears throat> I like to inform my father of when I begun streaming. I got tea. It's like mint tea. It's very hot. It's very hot tea. Um, but I do have it. I should should probably wipe off my glasses before playing because they are a bit mucky, mucked up. Because I am a terrible glasses wearer who doesn't take care of them. But it's fine. Anyways, I believe that we're about to enter into the last episode chapter of the game. Um, I'm saying that because none of the other Life is Strange games have exceeded five. Like, uh, Life is Strange 1, yeah, it says side B, and side A was like, yeah, this seems like a finale. Welcome so I, I mean, it's safe to say this is a finale. Do you want to you talk, want to about, talk your about your time in Colorado? What the hell? Okay. Let's start Let's with start something with positive. positive. What did you learn from your visit to So she's not dead. I didn't think she was dead, but this seems to confirm that she's not dead. Or if she is, she's in a sort of, like, limbo state, reliving. Either way, this definitely seems to be the last strange. episode. Uh, what else? Yeah, I didn't learn anything. The meaning of home. That place wasn't very homey. Not to be afraid of my emotions. Was that ever a struggle, or was she... Because she wasn't afraid of her own emotions. Afraid of those. She seemed to be more afraid of other people's emotions because of how they affected her. So I'm gonna go with nothing. <laughs> Everything I thought I had turned out to be wrong. So how could you survive being shot and thrown into a well? I would love to hear that. Very good, Alex. Okay, so this... This is some sort of, like, limbo. Wait, was I right in saying that? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Is she in limbo because she's dead? Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. Yeah, this is definitely not a real therapist appointment, or I or guy, or this is just a really shitty therapist. Right back where you started. She's not, though, because she didn't start bleeding in the bottom of a well. So. <laughs> you're wrong. I don't belong in here. What, dead? If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Wow, how shocking. I'm so shocked. So what is happening? Is she in like a weird limbo state? Is this her, is this like a view from halfway down? Is this her way of coping with her own in, <laughs> impending demise? Is this her view from halfway down? Is that what this is? The light is making me think that. Because it reminds me of the light guess that's me. from when she was falling. Case number 53322. Okay. <sighs> Alexandra. I forgot that's her full name. Alex Chen. Age 21. Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> Gender, female, emotional instability, occasionally, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual hallucinations, audible, I'm assuming that's what that was referring to, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, <laughs> diagnosis, we don't know. Down a... What? A well, why are you acting surprised? Al oh my god. So many words! Alex experiences a detailed and robust illusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believe that because of this ability, she is uniquely equipped to, to help other... to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. I'm trying to think... She's reminding me of somebody else, and I almost want to say Max, because Max kind of had the same issue with always trying to help people, but it's not. It's like... I, 
I have no idea who I'm thinking of, but she's reminding me of somebody. Um, it's difficult to overlook the irony of someone that's profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting a role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it... I... I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would have eventually gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. As such, I, re I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, her body shattered against each jutting board and er e errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Holy shit. Damn. The amount of slander. Dr. Dan always recorded art. Records. Um, right? Like Miss Lang, almost. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. It's the kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Can she say at the beginning of the game, or am I misremembering things? I don't care enough to pay attention, honestly, if, if, we're, if we're being real with ourselves. She's reminding me of somebody else who was like, desperately wants to help everybody, but makes things worse, and I'm trying to pinpoint who it is, and I want to say Max, but it's not Max. Max does fit that criteria, which is probably why she keeps coming to mind, but there's somebody else, and I don't know who it is, and it's bothering me. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Yeah, they don't. It's because you're not actually in her doctor's uh, office. Tuning peg. That's horrifying. Okay. Oh, there's more. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. What the hell? No, okay. No, 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 no. Get, get, get back here. Back here. Was this place ever real? <laughs> Oh. Oh, I thought that was a photograph of a tuning peg. I didn't realize it was an actual tuning peg. I was very confused. They did not do a good enough job establishing that. <laughs> Who was she reminding me of with this whole desperate it's gonna bother me i just hope you're aware it's going to bother me for this entire time is that what is i that look what like? like really you don't know what you look like okay maybe you do have more issues than we thought hey, hey. my guitar knock knock this is really going to bother me for the rest of the thing huh <laughs> It's not Max. If it was Max, then I wouldn't be distinctly knowing that it's not Max because that doesn't make sense. I've got to get out of this place. So do you know what this scene, not the thing that's bothering me, but what this scene is reminding me of is that weird nightmare sequence from the first game that confused the hell out of me and still confuses me thinking back on it. And it lasted for like a full 30 minutes and half of it was just like endlessly walking through corridors shape-shifting into different people. That game was weird. Of course. What do you mean, of course? Not getting out that way. 
There's a vague door shape behind the poster. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I guess that's me. I'm so Case lost. Five, three, three, two, so I see like a door, but how I get through the door. That's what I'm wondering. Cause you guys see what I mean? There's definitely like an outline. No, I don't need to go. <laughs> I don't need to go through this again. Okay, can we skip this, please? Is that what I look like? Tuning peg. Really? Okay, so we have a tuning peg. Oh, we can knock on this. Okay. I don't know anything because they're not telling me anything. You're just expecting me to know things. Which is not how these games typically work. Typically they explain things decently. This is giving major game one vibes where they didn't do that and everything was unnecessarily confusing. I don't like that. Uh, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. What is happening? <laughs> huh. This is reminding me of somebody, and I don't know who, and it's bothering me. I'm like going through the different. Is it powder? That's not it. But that does also fit the criteria of trying to help people and making it worse. So we're just gonna go with that. That's not it, but we're gonna say that's it so that it can stop bothering me. We'll say it's, uh, Jinx. Oh, it, was, it would be, what, 53322? That's her case number, right? You know what movie is good and is free on, like, a Roku channel or something? Is Box Trolls. And I'm gonna try to rewatch that soon, because that movie slapped. So we gotta fix it, I'm guessing. With the tuning peg. I'm so smart. I'm so intelligent. This is the peak of my intelligence right here. Is this game. This is it. This is the peak of it. Okay, so what do we play? Please say I'm able to hear it. Otherwise, this is gonna be very funny. Oh, 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 oh. I was able to hear that. It, I do want to check to make sure that it is off go. Because I do not want to deal with that. Okay. Um. Oh! I mean, you know, that makes sense because she did get shot in the head. But also, whoa. <laughs> um. Alright. Zero to 100 real quick there, game. Damn. <laughs> That is dark. I'm trying to think of, like, the most blood we've seen in these games, and I feel like we honestly haven't really seen that much. Like, you see some injury. You see Chloe get shot in the first game, but it's not nearly as bloody as that was. That caught, that caught me off guard. You never actually see Rachel Amber's body, and, I mean, you kind of see... Sean's eye get messed up, like, really badly messed up in the second game, but it's covered for a lot of the time, and even when it's not, it's not like the Indigo World. This caught me off guard. I don't think we've seen this much, like, blood in a Life is Strange game. Correct me if I'm wrong, or at least I haven't in the, in the playthroughs I've done. Yikes. So there's no water in there? Is that what I'm supposed to be getting out of this? 
Your rib's probably broken, hun. Oof. Oh, so there probably is water. She just fell onto a pole. Ouch. Shit. Okay. <laughs> She's covered in blood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yikes. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's great. That's lovely for her. <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Someone get this girl to a hospital. Is that where she is? Please tell me somebody found her and brought her to a hospital. Because, like, yikes. No, this is definitely not a hospital. Oh, shit. Gabe? <sighs> You're dead. Are you dead? So, is that what this is? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? He's not wrong. In the grand scheme of things, out of all of the humans that have ever existed, the majority are dead. <laughs> I want to say... a hospital? <laughs> Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. There was a... There's a hospital in the second game. That's what it was yep. reminding me of. I'm like, I feel like we've seen a hospital before. And in a prequel. I think the first game is the only one that didn't have a hospital scene which is funny considering how much injury there is or i think there might be a hospital scene if in like some things with kate i think if kate like survives her attempt or something there's a hospital scene i didn't get Definitely that though. Ho hospital gabe okay here's what i do know you're 10 i am 14 our mother is sick, so is our father. But this is bad writing. I'm sorry. You're 10, I'm 14. Like, this is very, like... You would have no reason to say that if he genuinely believed that he was 14 and she was 10. Play your part. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know, it still kind of is weird that he felt the need to say all of that Ow. all up front. Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. I, what is happening? Dad. Oh, Gabe. God. You're 10, I'm 14. You can't have established go literally any other way. God, just... Ugh. Oh, these games. I think your dad yeah. suck. Go check on your mother. Okay. What is happening? I don't understand. She was, she was right, right over there, waiting for me. Well, this is ominous. Is there things I can look at? Magazines? We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Well, that's we depressing. A private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. Probably is full of needles. What else there would be in there? Is. The painting that taught me that art sucks sometimes. <laughs> Damn, okay. Hello? Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. So I'm guessing fear is attached to it? Nope, sadness. Okay. Gabe? Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be different for a little while. Didn't she die? But I'm going to be okay. 
That doesn't sound like you're very okay. Alright, um, what is this? It was always too hot in this room. And... She's just on the other side. This is about to be dark, whatever is happening. I was about to say she got red hair, but no, it's like a thing wrapped around her head. Hey, remember halfway through the first game how you like are you see an alternate universe where Chloe is like paralyzed from the waist down and you have the option to kill her? That was upsetting. <laughs> I don't know why this reminded me of that. It just it also weirdly enough reminds me of the hospital from fucking Night Cry of all things, which is very unfortunate. What was his name? Leonard? Or whoever it was, just like, disembodied in like, a tub. Ugh. <laughs> How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating the vending machine dinners? Hospitals have cafeterias. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her. I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. Is this how she's coping with her own mortality? What is happening right now? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. You ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you've missed anything? What the hell, Gabe? Ow! Gabe, why? Oh, I hate. Is it just gonna keep looping? Kill me. Kill me now, please. With like a metal bat. Bash my head open. Kill me. Both of you. Dad. Behave. There's like a fly in here, and it's bothering me. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Now this really does remind me of the nightmare sequence with Life is Strange, because it just kept like going endlessly through like the same two hallways. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? I don't think I did. Abe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. I didn't... She knew. Even then, she knew. Okay, there's when water here now. Drank, her throat was always dry. Anything else I didn't look at? No. Just the water, which was, by the way, definitely not here last time. Was seen it would have shown up. She's, She's just on the other side. Please don't tell me we have to see through these same elongated cutscenes over and over again. I will actually commit a war crime if we have to do that. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. 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 Water, Alex. Get her some water. Why does his voice sound all robotic? Please tell me this is the last time we have to go through all this. I really don't feel like going into this room again. It's gonna annoy the crap out of me if we have to keep doing this. Thank you. Yeah. 
You almost never cry. Even when you were very small. That's worrying. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Her? You're using those words to describe her? No, hun. <laughs> She's crying now. <laughs> no tears, my strong girl. What the hell? Weren't you just complaining that she never cried? Now you're like, no tears. Don't cry, you're perfect. God. I want you to make me a promise. <laughs> Your brother. Your father. They are going to need you. <laughs> Fuck you, I guess. Isn't she the youngest? You are you kidding me? Be strong. No pressure. Ten-year-old child. Alex. Oh, just my fuck no. Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? So was the end of the last scene, or whatever she said when, like, time skipped forward. You good, hun? Where's her girlfriend? Where's your brother, or girlfriend, or Ryan? I don't know. Where, where are your people? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. What happened to Jed as well? I'm actually curious with that. I mean, he sucks. I don't like him now that I know that he is a backstabbing, lying bastard. But I am curious. Because I still love that man. The ring? <laughs> no? Okay. Through flashback stuff is giving me major Life is Strange 1 vibes. Where are you now? Where is this? Where are you? Girls, goddamn fly. Go! Get out! Skedaddle! No one wants you! Is this her, like, childhood home? Oh, it's her little, um, rodent creature plush thing. Yeah, we know that thing. Oh, Jesus, I didn't know he was there. Hi! Was that the Hi, last buddy! Time I to her? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Scared the hell out no. of me. Thank you, forgot. I. I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? Yeah, I would love to know that myself. You're 11. I'm almost 15. Dad and I Can are you explain? time bombs. You keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. That doesn't answer my question, bud. This is going to suck so bad. What is about to suck so bad? Pardon? I would, I would, uh, <laughs> sir? Play your part. No? Can you explain what's happening?
What is happening right now? Can somebody explain what is happening right now? I'm genuinely confused. Hun. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to hear it, whatever this is that you're about there to put on. There was ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. It's not... <laughs> With something do play ironic is that if this is licensed music, which it probably is, is that it's actually not gonna drown them out unless they straight up silence good music. Straight up silence good people yelling. So it is a muffle gun, right? That's what the headphones are for? I want to hear the music just for a second because I am curious. Okay, yeah, there is music playing here. I was right! Alright, let's turn this back on. Yikes. Look like there's something a bit more depressing about there not being any music. Do we not get to see Tiny Gabe? I think that would be adorable. You good there, hun? Alex? Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? <laughs> Is this really how she's coping with her own mortality? It's just like, I'm gonna torture myself with all my traumatizing memories first. So we don't hear the music, which I didn't hear it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did, I can't believe they were ever this happy. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Almost empty. Almost always. I didn't even know what CPS was. Yikes! Just that I was afraid of them. Hey Gabe, I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. Yikes! <laughs> we got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, um... Uh, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school. Yikes. And my dad, like, he was, um... Helping me learn my lines. What play? Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Yikes. We never really touched these after mom died. Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. That's weird. What is this? When wasn't this place falling apart? Gabe loves some fled back when it was an indie. It was too... Gory for me. Well, he's really an OG fan, huh? The what is this? mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Okay, you're a nerd. Got it. All right, what Mom's is this? Sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Yikes! For trying, lucky cat. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. Wow, you had a great childhood. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shushu. What is this? Dad's laundry. 
Okay. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. Well, shine. I tried Got it. so hard to keep my promise to her. No pressure, ten-year-old girl. Okay, what is this? This was probably the most expensive thing we own. It kind of kept me sane. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Fun! Okay, there's nothing else here to see, is there? Not missing anything? Can I go up here? Okay, no. Um, I think I've checked out everything, so probably time to go see what all this is about. Dave and Dad were so loud when they fought. Yeah, I can hear muffled yelling through the door. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine. I'll He's do a it. pleasant man. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could um I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records, or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't wanna hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <laughs> Yikes. <gasps> Well, this is a lovely Damn childhood. It, I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, I, I didn't. Dad. You should go. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. Yikes. So, based on how in depth this is, I'm guessing that she dies no matter what you do in a previous episode. Or, like, it's run down a wall. She's technically not dead yet, but you know. I can't do this. Or like ends up in a similar situation where this would happen. Dad? Yikes. So is he just Someone leaving? That woman from CPS. Someone. Yikes. Dad. He's just leaving y'all? Damn. I'm sorry. Shit, okay. <laughs> Dad! Shit. What did you throw? What did you throw at him? And how badly is this about to go? Was that like a necklace? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> he took it? Don't like that guy. Ew. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful childhood they had. <laughs> Yikes. So considering that she wasn't able to feel happy emotions until like the end of episode two, my guess is that there's going to be a scene about anger and then that's it. It's already a very red scene. You good, hun? Where what is happening now? Where are we now? John Chen, John Chen, return to sender. Jesus. That's a lot of letters. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. 
Yikes. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need so to... it goes all unopened letters from her dad? Is that what that is? You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, what a great childhood. To feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. Yikes. <laughs> we don't There's have nothing. to I'm to unpack all of that. No one. Okay, damn, you don't have to be that alone. extreme. Je Jesus! <laughs> I don't want this. Understandable. Play your part. No. <laughs> Are we just been like, nah, I'm good. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Oh, Why? so those were letters from her dad. Those were letters to her dad. Got she got Fairly back nice unopened. Things. And I thought and he, I thought missed, he me. missed me. Hence, That's stupid. Guess I missed a few days. Okay. Um. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Whoever made that thing, I want to punch him in the face. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. I can't Why weren't you allowed to bring glass? Except, oh God, they put me on so many. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped, a little. None of them fixed me. Yeah, that's not how meds in work, defense, Alex. Mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. <laughs> they used to why say this place wasn't a Why is it barred? Jesus. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. Just anger. So I was right in thinking that this is a more anger focused scene. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Property. Yikes. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I took a yeah. fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Residents must adhere to their okay. I... Residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all time and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside of the designated free time. Glass and silverware to remain in the canteen do not bring those into the dormitory. Non-resident guests and rappers. Permitted in the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to heed to any of rules will result in disciplinary action. I don't like the sound of that. Was this graffiti? This seems like a pleasant place. put this here. Sadie, Sally. Uh, something with an S. You were friends at first, right? way at first then i freaked out on her and she was done with me i mean fair Just like everyone else can't expect everybody to be okay with your issues all right what is happening here fancy everyone had one good outfit we wore them to meet the parents did it help kind of think you already know the answer to that question <laughs> Right now, so look at here. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. Okay, I do want to see this, right? Okay. What? Hello? Okay. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. Yikes. That's bullshit. 
I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Fair. <laughs> Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! I mean, he can. Everyone's <laughs> feelings were so loud. I just needed something to distract me. This place seems very pleasant. God. Okay, what is here? Can I can I get up on this thing? The whole room went dark. That that makes me feel weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Get up on it, hun. Play your part or whatever is happening right now. Oh, I thought she was gonna stand on it. What is happening? Oh, there's pe- Okay, I didn't realize you could do that. It doesn't really establish anything. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. I mean, fair. That's understandable. Who's this guy? It says here she's sensitive. What is that? Oh god, this is gonna be I worrying. wonder why she's never found a home before. Why is she angry? I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? Yeah, This is the kid that's been in all those fights. Right? <laughs> I wanna help. I I really do, but there's just something off. broken. Yikes. Wrong. Well, there's a lot to unpack here that I don't think we have the time for. Shit, okay. I mean, that works, yeah. Where's your girlfriend, huh? Your hand is probably bloody. As is the rest of your body in real life right now. Yikes. Hello, Gabe. I'm, I'm guessing sorry, that's who got this. Yeah. Why? Why see what? You. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Shit. Okay, Mom damn. Died. Dad left. Yeah, we I got bailed. it. She had a sucky oh, life. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us. You were 11 years old. She was 10 years old, actually. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. <laughs> that sounds a lot easier said than done, Believe. buddy. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. <sighs> Make it better. Uh, be again, a lot easier said than done. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you. Isn't she literally life. dying in the bottom of a well? She doesn't really have and that no ability one can right take now. Your life away. Except for Jed, apparently. <laughs> I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. This really is her uh, view from halfway down. You know why? Because this isn't really... Gabe. Just like it wasn't really Bojack's dad or his mom or anything. This is not actually Gabe talking to her. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. What? Because she's dying at the bottom of a well? Is that what you're referring to? God, these games would be a nightmare to speedrun. 
because it's like mostly cutscenes. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting how much blood there is going on right now. <sighs> Oof. So the wall's empty. Shit. How are you still alive? Wasn't she literally shot in the head? Shouldn't she be dead right now? <laughs> like, logistically? Hello? Oh, that was like a one match she had from Gabe, right? Oh, is that her bones creaking? Ew! Like I can hear things snapping in her body, and it's making me very uncomfortable. <sighs> Jesus. Jed, God damn it, Jed. Oof, ooh, 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 ooh. One of her ribs is broken, right? Like I was hinting at. I've got Oof. to find a way out of here. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Oh, there's two ways this goes. I'll go one that's like kind of caved in. Oof, she's moving real slow. Yikes. Lines growing into lines. Just like Judd said. <laughs> well, at least he wasn't lying about everything. I mean, he really wasn't lying about anything, actually. Um, he just was evil the whole time, and I'm we didn't know it. Not to read anything into this. And again, he never claimed to not be evil. So I guess he technically didn't lie. He just betrayed everybody. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Yeah, don't laugh. Your rib is broken. You don't need to puncture lung. How long hun. has this stuff been down here? Probably a while, if I had to guess. There's like cigarette butts on the ground. Alright, trigger the cutscene. Go me. See what I mean about this game would be hell on earth to speedrun? Reload. Yeah, there's no skip cinematic portion. You know what movie was really good? Encanto. Like, it just was. I'm just saying. Oh, I don't like how weirdly dark and blue this is. No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. Oh, you're in the dark now, hon. Oh, well, let me pause. Cool. I can do this. I can do this. Can you? Yeah, down here is probably not the best place to be having a panic attack. This place looks like it's second away, seconds away from caving in. It won't let me pause. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? That's something. Uh, that's concerning is what that is. So I was right about the last thing. So it actually works as like a source of light. I didn't know that. Somebody's real angry.
I didn't know that this was a horror game. This is terrifying. All right, boys, get close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. This is so ominous. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. Yeah, Long what if you try to bury? It better be something good. Well, Jed, we Since we've been building this, this up for like several episodes now. Something's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. God damn it, Jed. <laughs> This place Steady is goes. creepy as hell. Steady. Fuck was... Boom! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. What is happening? We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! God damn it, Jed. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. Okay, what is all of this? Why is there an aura? It smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Okay, what's buried down here? Oh god, I don't like the look of that. That's worrying. What the hell? What is that? Arthur, go to your room. What is happening? Please don't let this be a whole ass dead body. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Pardon? What? Um... What the hell? Why is your Dad, dad's necklace here? Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! He moved here? Jen, you gotta stop, man. Jen! Fuck you, Jen! Come back! It's over, Jen. He's not coming back. What? I'm sorry. I'm so confused <laughs> right now. I'm so sorry. Well, it's dark again. Except for that thing. What the hell? So he worked here? Is that what the big reveal is supposed to be? That's underwhelming. He's not even a likable guy. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Wait, did she find the way out? Are you kidding me? How are you not dead, is my question. Wait, so what did they have buried that was so important? We got a global company. I mean, fair, I'd be pretty pissed, too. <laughs> he did just shoot her and throw her down the well. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Considering that she got shot and fell God knows how far down that well, she should not be able to move around as well as she is. I mean, honestly, she should be dead. But even if she wasn't, she should not be able to walk around with a slight limp. No way in hell. Go find your girlfriend, hon. <laughs> Lord knows you need it. Okay. 
And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. Oh, fuck you. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. We love Reginald. History, loyalty, pride. <laughs> These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. Steph looks it's stressed. It's my privilege to renew Typhon's- Also, I think I realized how long Steph's hair was because it's always like pulled back under like a hat. Commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Yikes. Thank you, Diane. I think I got Eleanor the only one clapping. We love I her. Say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. He's like, you're supposed to be dead. Hello, Finn. Oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have yeah, to you have like a broken rib. So I'm like, I was playing COD. Cool. I found out Sounds something fun. you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, your dad's a fucking murderer, is that it? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. Yikes. And so has Jed Lucan. Yep. Alex, what's going on? Oh, don't play dumb. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. She also mentioned that he shot you and Jeff three Lincoln down well. A hero. That whole story is a lie. What was the story that's a lie? I don't know what the reveal was supposed to be. Jed caused the accident. Oh. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. That's what I was supposed to get out of that scene. Okay. <laughs> there were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up. In case it jeopardized the vote. Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing By was going blasting. to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Yep. And it somehow didn't work, which makes no logistical sense. Why aren't any of you saying anything? Cause it's a lot to process, we don't want dumbass. To you, Alex. What? Try me. <laughs> These accusations are well, they're insane. And are trying they? to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Oh god damn you. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. 
Your brother was your her? only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you She's literally and covered in blood, you dumbass. Make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer and because Pike you committed a felony, you know. <laughs> arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Now, Jed didn't threaten you. He <laughs> shot you and created you down a well. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking you about? You poor innocent soul. No, I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. Oh, fuck you. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. But you shot her and threw her down a well. This is an act. You're lying. Yeah. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. Hey, Steph, some help would be nice here. I believe you. Thank you. Of course. Thank I you. I I don't like you. I find you kind of annoying, but thank you. <laughs> we love her. We stand. I believe you too. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm horrified and shocked and. Still processing everything, but I believe you. What about Eleanor? Do we have Eleanor? Miss Harmon, please remember the terms of your settlement. Pardon? Screw your settlement. I would never take that money. Okay. I would like to speak. I <laughs> love him. <laughs> This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. I love this over man. over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. We stand. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. I love this man. We ought to take her seriously. Reginald, Reginald McAllister III, my beloved, best character in the whole game, unironically, we, we love this man. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. <laughs> Alex. He's plenty helpful. <laughs> Shut up. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. Okay, she doesn't have a terminal illness. So hard. To admit you need help. Okay, got you're projecting, hon. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Say something, Pike. Or not. Where's Mac? How actually? About you? I heard you out last night. We know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. Yeah, he's a cop, which is why he's not doing anything, because he's a fucking cop. Alex, just, just give it up. Give up what? Yeah, he is a coward. He's a cop, again. <laughs> Well, you have two people that believe you. And maybe also Ducky. You're good. You do need a hospital, though. You believe me, right? 
Oh god, 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 oh god. Why are you doing this? What? Pardon? My dad is not a murderer. You poor sweet himbo. He is. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? Yikes. I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Oh, fuck you. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Yeah, she's literally covered head to toe in blood, buddy. It's going too far. Alex almost died. Yeah. <laughs> it's not true. What do you mean it's not fuck true? you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Understandable. What is happening right now? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I'm so confused. I know why you tried to kill me. What? What is happening? It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. Yikes. This was never about Haven at all, was it? What is it about? What is happening? This was about you. I know Narcissism. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. Yeah, that's typically how that works, but... To... My father worked for me. His name was John. He was a victim. Who in their right mind would say he was a victim? Jesus. Or he a fighter. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. Yeah, who would say he was a victim or a fighter? We've seen literally nothing but bad things about this man. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe. Yeah. My big brother. Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. Wasn't he, like, engaged? But he died. Because of you. Yeah, sure did. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. We get it. You have a shitty childhood. We got it. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to play music. No. I want to belong. Ew. I want to help people. These are all bad choices, honestly. Um... I'm gonna go with the top one. I wanna belong somewhere. I wanna know that there's a place. Well, you just make some of sense for a character with the whole thing we just saw about her never getting chosen and everything. It wouldn't be the same without me. <laughs> I was starting to feel that here. Yeah, Shed. And you tried to murder me. <laughs> You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Who reminds me of Arcane, where Mel is like, I can't believe you would start a war just to cover your ass. <laughs> you wanna say something? You wanna say something, bud? Are you speechless? You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. With what? What is happening? He's not a hero. You tell yourself you're a good man. 
You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? He is a coward. Eleven yeah. years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. Is he gonna say anything? Why are her eyes glowing? What is happening? You a wife? You're a wife? Saying it in front of your Did I miss something? <laughs> Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't <coughs> muster the courage to admit a mistake. Choking on... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Yikes. The truth hurts. Truth sure hurts is a good Lizzo it's song. It's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. Yeah, how are you not dead, Alex? I would love to know that. How are you getting around with just like a mild limp? I see the truth about you. Why are her eyes glowing? It's freaking me out. You hate yourself. Fair. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. Is he gonna say anything? And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. We get it. You can read emotions. You're an empath. I, why would I forgive him? He shot her and threw her down a well. That's very and sketchy. I condemn you. Haha. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right. What's going on now? What happens now? I want to know. Does she get to run away from this place and go to Salem with her girlfriend? Please tell me that's how the game ends. Is she gonna join a, a lesbian coven with her with her kind of annoying girlfriend who also fits her annoyingness? And it's great. Oh my god, am I actually hearing music right now? Wild. I didn't notice that they drew over the football. Yeah, like a scar here and a scar there. Where's a bullet yeah. wound? The <laughs> silence is worse. I need to get some air. You were shot in the head. How is there no like visible hole in the back of your head? 
I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Jesus Christ. I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Mm. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, <clears throat> but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Okay. I love this guitar. <clears throat> Are you just saying he deserved to die? That's a little harsh. I'm throwing it out the window. I mean, he sucked. Maybe but. Salem would be cool. Yes, 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 trials. yes. Go, go, go to Salem with your girlfriend. Yes, please, 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 please. I would cry. Do it. Paper gets to break out the really big headline. Scandal. That. Is there a musical called Scandal? Because there should be a musical called Scandal. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. <laughs> Yikes, oh, yeah. Lord. He left it on the landing outside. He still can't even look at me. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. Yikes. <clears throat> You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chan? John, and no. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? Nope. He abandoned all of them. No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. They're called hell divers? Okay. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Yeah, like how you somehow came out of it with just like a mild limp. You're li you're you're like your ribs are broken, I right, hun? After our dance. I guess he felt the same way. We love that man. You know it was hard. I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her own anger. I think it gave her the strength <clears throat> to support me. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. I'm pretty sure my voice was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it. Alyssa, Alyssa, Alyssa. There's an Alyssa is in. It weird that the part of this that bothers me the, the first most game. is nondescript dive bar. <laughs> what? All right, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care to read all of that, but I did find that line amusing, even if I don't know what she's talking about. All right, um, so we looked all over here. What else is there to look at? Cl crutches? This air was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. Okay, so that's why she was able to walk. Okay, I was really confused. I'm like, that seems not right. All right, um... The LARP was two days ago. That doesn't seem possible. What is this? Maybe I Hello? do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. But, but, but money. But I money. I go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. Okay, before we go to the rooftop and whatever is up there, I do want to play mine hunt because it has been a while I'm, I'm not any better at it than i was at the beginning uh i still haven't been able to get past the minecart level which also i'm realizing now how dark it is that it takes place in a mine considering well everything I'm going to go to the rooftop now. <laughs> Hello? Was that knock at the door? Hello? Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Yes! Before you say anything, I have to get this out. What? Okay. <laughs> 
What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest Gay people. I've ever okay. seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. Yes. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. Gay people. I and love this. If you'd this. rather stay here instead, then. Don't, 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 rip God. don't, don't rip that. Don't, don't rip that. Don't rip that. No, I wanted to go with Salem. I wanted to go with, I wanted to go with Salem. You ripped your bus ticket. I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point Why is, would you do that? You're a dumbass. You could have not wasted I'm money. Or whatever you want. Gay people, yes. Do I get a choice? Please tell me I get a choice and I get to go to Salem. I would be so happy. I want to see them in Salem together, and that's adorable. You've, uh, <clears throat> given me a lot to think about. Please, please tell me I get to go to Salem. That was the idea. I love them. I mean, I don't like either of them individually all that much, no, but I love right. them together. <laughs> no, I want a choice! I want a choice. I want to go to Salem, and I think it would be adorable. And I want you two to join a coven, um, and it would it would be adorable. Do that. I would pay to see that. I where's my wallet? I will pay to see that, please. <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? Where? Where? What? Why? What is happening? Oh, is this a rooftop? Are you on a rooftop? Is that what this is? Alright. Just tell me. Who are you talking to? What? Jesus, what the hell? Okay. My future. What to do? He can't tell you that. The night of the spring fest. <laughs> Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. I've already made my decision. I don't give a damn around. about this town. I only had two people in this whole town I liked. Or three people. Ryan's on my bad side now because of that whole stunt he played. I really only liked Ducky and Jed and one of them's evil. So really all we have left is Ducky here. Ducky or like gay witch coven paradise. We're gonna go. Sorry Ducky. I love you. But we're gonna go with Steph. Worse. That was before all this shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know it all. He can't tell you. He's time. dead, you oh dumbass. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. No, you, 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 no. You really think so? No, I don't. I, please say I get a choice in this. Home, a job? People who actually like you? Ew. Why would you give that up? Because, because gay. Because gay. That's why, Gabe. I don't give a damn about this town. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? What music no, thing? You should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, he's Stop not real. It, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. He's dead, hun. He died. I know. He's not real, I'm hun. Something. What? What is happening? 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 It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. I don't want that. I want us to go to Salem. Well, 
Life goes on. Or, please tell me this is leading up to me having a choice. I want to go to Salem, and I think it would be fun. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. That sounds so boring. I also can't hear any music right now, which is not helping your case, Gabe. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. Or she could go to Salem with her girlfriend and it would be adorable and I would be very happy. And little by little, time does its thing. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, do not die in a small town. No, <laughs> no, hun. Nope, not happening. No, no, sir. Ew, ew, ew. This is stressing me out. Why is there so much snow? It snows here, leave. Get out, leave, go literally anywhere else. <laughs> the apartment starts to feel less like a museum, and more like a home. No. 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 Also, I'm very confused because isn't there supposed to be like a Taiwanese flag in this game that pissed a bunch of people off? Ogre is a good Colorado flag. Which I assumed was the Taiwanese flag. It's not. I just assumed that was because people said that there was a flag that pissed people off. That Lots is not of right Jed, one. of Typhon, <clears throat> even of me, begin to fade into the background. <laughs> Why is there guns on the wall? I didn't notice there were guns on the wall. So many guns. Ew, Mac. I forgot about him. And Riley. I also forgot about her. God. See a new guy who looks three times her age. Please tell me we get to go to Salem. I want to go to Salem. I want to go to Salem. Can we go to Salem? Please. I feel like it's trying to make me feel conflicted. Literally, the only thing making me feel conflicted is Ethan, but like, Salem. Salem, though. Please don't die in this small, awful town. Is that an engagement ring? Sorry. Pardon? <laughs> is that. Did I miss see something? The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Yeah. Performing for more people in yeah. more cities, sharing your music with the world. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you never go think about to Salem. Much at all. Go to Salem. Go to Salem, please. I I want that. I think that is that would be adorable. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place. Just I don't as want to transform this place has though. You. Hasn't that been like the entire message of the story is that she should stop trying to do what, to like be strong or whatever for other people's sake? Wasn't that the entire point of all those memories and her whole breakdown when she was in a well and everything? And the most this is adorable. Thing of all is just how normal it feels. Oh my god. Please tell me there's a choice. You don't question Please. it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. But she didn't come here for her. She came time. here to visit you. You just live. Can we go to Salem? Thank you. Please. Don't mention it. He's not here. You really think I'll transform Haven? Hello? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. Ugh. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. Yes, please. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Exactly. Exactly. 
Exactly. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? No. Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> Pouring your soul to strangers? Ew, SoundCloud. Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is... There was no, like, <laughs> development of her wanting to be a musician, and that is kind of bothering me, because that's what all of this is seeming to and be based on. Might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? Do I get a choice? Please tell me I get a choice. Please, 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 please. Do I get a choice? Is it? Yes, 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 yes. I know what I want. I think this is the fastest I've ever answered one of those, like, major end of game question dilemma things that they present you with. Which I'm guessing that's what that was. Usually I'm like, oh god, oh, this is difficult, oh, whatever, eh. That was a very easy answer for me. Ew. Buddy, I have really mixed feelings on you right now. Kind of piss me off. Back at the bar. Where's Steph? Where's Steph? Where's Steph? Where is she? Where, where is your girlfriend? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Please tell me. Okay. <sighs> Y'all moving stressful. Okay. Here she is. Yes. You're gonna join a coven. It's gonna be adorable. See, this is the ending that Chloe and Rachel should have gotten when they were trying to run away. This is what should have happened. But no. But hey, at least we're finally getting that. Three games later. <laughs> I'm sure there's supposed to be music there for once I actually don't mind. Is that the end of the game? Do we get like a montage or something? I can sense... I can sense something. And it's got there's about to be a real quiet music scene. <laughs> <clears throat> Who is this? Okay, wow, they really didn't text much. We love them. Oh, wait, there's- wait. Shit, okay, wait. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Who's Arthur? <laughs> Who's Jessica? Okay, I don't have to hate him. Thank God. Okay. Alex, I'm sorry. My dad was a hero. That's what everyone said for years, and it took so many lies to all get up, discussing the hero lies, having lied dad lie, worst ball, I lied to myself. Even when the jokes are in front of my eyes, I believe him over you. I'm sorry, and I hope one day you'll forgive me. Yay! I don't have to hate Ryan. That's, that's good. That's good. I think I want to hate Ryan. Okay, uh... Ducky, Ducky, my boy. Okay, okay, whoa, he types a lot. Jesus Christ. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming here in Haven. I look very much I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. 
Dear Alex, what a marvelous event! I'm so glad I could participate in today's live-action roleplay. It brings me back to my days in theater. Of course, he was a theater kid. Did I ever tell you that I once... A saved the role of false staff in my school's production of the Merry Wives of Windsor? Win Windsor? With enough liquid prodding, you may... Holy shit. You may one day get me to recall a few verses. And this is a lot of text. And thank you for including me in the festiv festivities. It was nice to take my mind off things. How, how, yeah, Jesus. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy your very first spring festival. I can still remember mine, clear as day. Sincerely, <laughs> Reginald McAllister III. Dear Alex, you've been through an awful lot these past few weeks, but your resilience and courage continues to astound me. I have no doubt that you will weather this affront against your person with the same grace as you demonstrated to me during our lovely dance at the Spring Festival, a moment I will not soon forget. So please, remember that you, we are here for you. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. I love this man. Uh... We tried to get around 40, got around 39 twice. Fun. That's unfortunate. <laughs> wow, that actually hurt my throat doing that voice, believe it or not. That was, that hurt. That was painful. God. <laughs> I love that man. Ducky is the best character. We stand, Ducky, my beloved. Where the hell is your girlfriend? I'm not gonna be able to hear this. I'm just accepting that now. Where's your girlfriend? World's largest ball of twine? Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. Okay. I don't have to sit through a painfully silent moment. Okay, that's good. That's good. I still think that they did not at all establish, um, you know, the fact that she wanted to be a musician. She kind of just, like, put up, like, walls and was like, nah, I don't want to do that. Please, God, no. So that was a little weird. Um... There's a picture, audio director, sound designer. Storyboard artist. One person to go the storyboards? Damn. Lead environment designer. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, that's a beautiful picture. Narrative director, staff writers, research consultant. Research for what? <clears throat> it's a very pretty flower garden. Is that his dad? Is that who that is? Or is that supposed to be Gabe? I can't tell. Everybody there did a very good job. <laughs> they credited the cat who did, who made the sounds for the weird smooth cat. That's hilarious. Suzu, my beloved. Suzu the cat. Okay, no, that's Gabe. So that other guy was his dad. Very pretty flower garden. Production babies. Wow. Jesus. There's a hole in the wall. That's a very fun little picture, actually. That's a very clever image. <clears throat> oh. 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 Gabe, no. <laughs> okay. There's somebody named Izzy on the team. Interesting. I really want to know what that whole story was between Izzy and um, 
stuff. Because that was really weird thing that we only got, like, very vague details on. Pretty image. Okay, I'm good. I think I've seen enough. Most people stayed in Haven? That's weird to me. Most people forgave Jed. That's also weird to me. <laughs> Wanted to belong somewhere in the future. Yeah. See, other people agree. Like, the whole music thing just doesn't add up. Only 12% of people chose that. <laughs> Charlotte turned her back on Alex. That can happen? Eleanor Wong is completely 50-50. She's... <clears throat> Pike sided with Alex. How does that happen? We love Ducky. We love Ducky so much. I love that man. Ducky, my beloved. Reginald McAllister III, my beloved. Okay, what else? There's a fly. Go away. No one likes you. Ryan can leave with Alex? Weird. Alright, well that was the end of the game. If I had to rank it, I feel morally obligated to put it above the first game. But I just, I don't know, something about the first game is just felt more interesting than this one, I guess. I mean, the first game sucks, and on like an objective level, this is uh, up there. But, I don't know. This is probably my least favorite Life is Strange game, if I'm being fully honest. However, I did like the ending uh, that I got, at least. Which is a new one. That I re that's rare for me with these types of games, huh? Um, and I'm very happy that they got to run away and join a coven! That's nice. I am curious about Steph's story. Last time I checked, I couldn't actually buy it. Can I click it now without ending stream? What comes up? Enlighten me. <laughs> this content cannot be selected at this time. I'll try to figure out if I can do that. If not, then I guess I just won't play wavelengths. Uh, but yeah, that was that was interesting. Extras again, probably my least favorite one. Wait, 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 wait. You can access the arcade from the mini. I'm pissed. I wish I knew this from the beginning. I am pissed right now. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, 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 hell yes. This is how I want to end out the street, is, is, a, is a round of Arkanoid. Jesus Christ. Jesus, okay. I love this game, and I love that you can access it from the menu, and I really wish I knew that earlier. Oh my god, I love this. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea how happy this is making me right now. 
I love this game so much. I'm not gonna grab the red one. I know that's just gonna curse me. Yes. 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 I'm so happy right now. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, but I, yeah, so, end of the game, uh, thoughts, favorite characters, uh, definitely Ducky. He's probably my favorite character in this game, unironically. Uh, Alex, I guess, is fine. I sort of came around to her in the last episode, just like I sort of came around to Max in the last episode of the first game, even though I don't like her. Um, but, but, yeah. Yeah, so, uh... Definitely my least favorite of Life is Strange games, just because I found a lot of it quite boring and uninteresting. And I really can't get behind the powers things. She's literally just an impact. Uh, but I thought it was solid. It, it was objectively better than the first game, that's for sure. It was solid. Uh, and I did like the ending, and I'm glad that they got to run away.